welcome back to another episode of Never Been Bogged. We're doing another rig rundown today, and we're here with Lockie and his big rig. So run us through what you got. Yeah, so this is my uh, 2001 GU Patrol TD42. Nice. All right, well, we'll start at the front and work our way through. Ready, uh, run us through what you got going on at the front here. Yeah, so there's not a whole lot going on, but we just got the Razzler as a bar. And yeah. It's the first style they have now up. Dated it, changed it a bit, yeah. Um, but I still think it suits the vehicle. Yeah, no, it looks good. Um, and then I've just got some spotties down here. Yeah, I actually don't mind them in there. Yeah, sort of tucked away. Yeah, it keeps them pretty neat and keep like the spreads quite wide. Yeah, no, that's um, good. Six point six DBI. Jamie, yeah, in the aerial. And I see you've uh, upgraded your globes there. Yeah, you? I have. So I've got the light force LEDs yeah. in there. So they're, yeah, what they're are they pretty, like? Yeah, really good. Worth yeah. getting, you reckon? Yeah, hundred percent. I looked yeah. at getting some. Uh, Upgrade ones in mine, but haven't really committed. So. Yeah, they're almost like a spotty themselves. Like yeah, right. Yeah. Go is that low and high? Yeah. Yeah. You get sometimes you get flashed on low, but ah, well, it happens in the big rig, don't it? Right. Yeah. Uh, we'll move around to the side. Easy. So I see you're running the Toyos. Yeah. Yeah, I am. So I was originally going to go Maxis. Yep. Um, but the Razors. Yeah, the Razors. Yep. yep. Um, but because I've got the v -box, um they, 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 the ply on them, because they're a 12 ply, it was actually too thick. Too thick for the v um, Yeah, right. Yeah. And it was, I could get spaces along the bolts, but it was just going to be easier to go the Toyo. Yeah. Um, which I don't regret, actually. Good I've times. had Maxis before, and I actually, I actually like the Toyos better. Yeah. So I'm glad I went them. Yeah. Um, so I got them in a 315. Yeah. Um, so that's a 35 equivalent. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, 35. And then the rims... Uh, non-branded, but I did buy him off a reputable dealer off Facebook. Yeah, I got a hold of him, so I follow another guy with a white coil cab. Yeah, um, he's running the same rims. I liked them. Messaged him, gave him the link. Yeah, no, I think it keeps it unique too. You don't see everyone running them then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and uh, I've never had an issue. Um, those are like the bolts haven't come loose or anything. So yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I like them. Um, yeah, and then obviously lift kit wise, I've got the uh, superior hyperflex yep. kit, so that includes like your radius arms, yeah, uh, springs, steering shocks, dampener. yep, steering dampener, yeah. Um, the springs are quite soft. Yeah, it's a bit they floaty. Are, yeah, it's more of a flexi coil. Yeah. Um, so I did do a Simpson Desert trip on them. Yeah. Handled all right. It was not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. A um, little bit hairy around some corners, but ah well, pretty good. Um, yeah, and then obviously extended bump stops as well. Yeah. Comes along with that. I see you got a superior diff brace. Yeah, I do, yep. So yeah. just to keep it all buddy. Nice. Yeah, that big pump gets yeah, dashed down a bit. So. Yeah, no, that's fair. And your scrub bars. Yeah, your so side steps. they're Razzler as well. Yeah. Um, I was planning on building my own yeah. along with the side steps, side but step. it yep. worked out easier and I didn't have time. It's cheaper to just get Razzler. Cheaper to so. just get them all. Yeah. Yep, so so um, are they a. Um, Slider as well, or are they mainly a sidestep? No, nah, they're a slider. Yeah, yep. so build a bit thicker. Yeah, build a bit thicker to handle it, get bashed around. So nice. No, very, very happy with them. Right, eh? all right. We'll move down a bit further. So I see the rear bar looks fairly custom, but it looks good. Let's yeah, so me. that's a that's uh, homemade. Um, yeah. So I think it looks good. Tucks it up, nice and neat. Yeah, no, it's um, good. Yeah, it's got the LED. Keeps it all up out the way. It's a bit better yeah. forward driving, I guess. Yeah, oh, for sure. It's got the LED uh, tail lights. Yep. Yeah. And your swing away, obviously. Yeah, it's got a swing away. I'm going to eventually build a jerry can swing away. Yeah, one well. inside. Yeah, even nice. out of weight, too. Yeah, that's me. It's quite heavy. Yeah, it would be. Um, yeah, so it's full size spare. Yeah, so that's another 35. Yep, same rim. Same rim. Nice. Yep. And then obviously the crash pad. Bin bag, bag which is handy for the beer cans. Sort of business, yeah. All right, well, we'll have a look in the back while we're here. Show us what you're running in the back here, yeah. So, I've just got the Titan drawers for now, yeah. Um, they are a little bit heavy, but you know, they do the job, do the job, um, yeah, yeah. So, I've got the, it's the fridge slide, I'm gonna yeah. upgrade that to a tilt, yeah. I can, I have to so, you don't need a step, I have to use a step because <laughs> I can't see. Oh, it's fairly high, so yeah, yeah. Um, and then I've just got the 75 litre kick ass fridge, yeah. What's that like? Yeah, really good. Yeah, highly recommend them. Um, is that dual zone as well? Yeah, yeah. So yep. they don't break the bank. 
found they're actually quite affordable. Yeah, no, that's good. Really good. Never had an issue. Full Bluetooth and everything as well. Yeah, right. No, that's good. Yeah, so. Um, and then I've just got the kick ass travel oven. Yeah. Which is good as well. Um, they do. The only, oh, the only thing I don't like about them is they do take a while. Yeah, they take, take a while to heat up. up and yeah, I feel like they probably all do. I feel like you don't want them to get too up too quick, otherwise the whole thing will heat up. Yeah, exactly. And then, but it's good if you're driving. Yeah. You chuck some. Chuck whatever some sausage rolls or yeah. something in the back while you're driving. Yeah, yeah no, that's yep. good. Um, and then, obviously, built this around it. Yeah, you built that yourself, did you? Yeah, built that yourself. Oh, nice. I had COVID. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Had to build something new. Yeah, exactly. Uh, then I've just got the, uh, the cold off-tap productions. Yeah, right. Yeah. Water jerry. Um, yeah. So it's actually got a 12-volt water pump in it. Yeah, built in. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've got water and tap. Yeah, which is quite exactly. handy. Showers and dishes. And yeah, it's only it's cold water. Yeah. So if, you, if you need a shower, then yeah. Yeah, well, I guess if you're doing Simpson and stuff, you probably want one every yeah, now and then. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then I've just got the 12 volt uh, board here, which has got everything mounted to it. So I'll start with the DC DC charger, which is a 40 amp for energy. Yep. Um, I was looking at them, and you got, you got your red arc and whatnot. Yeah. Quite pricey. I was like, yeah. Oh, no, I'll, I'll try. try yeah. I'll try something a bit more, a bit cheaper. And I was never had an issue with it. Yeah, oh, that's so good. It does its job. Yeah, um, and then I'm, I'd, it was my fault. I didn't buy one with solar. Yeah, right. Yeah. In it, which I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, but I just bought the bitch on solar, solar controller. Ring. Yeah, yeah. So mounted that there, and that, that does its job. And then all my switches and whatnot are all just off a of king's box. Yeah, just, just got the out. king's box and cut it out. Yeah, oh, that's not a bad so, idea. It gives you everything you need. Then. They're all they're only switches. Yeah, I thought so. Um, and then I've got the kick-ass digital controller. Yeah, right. Or yeah. the kick-ass inverter I've got hidden behind the oven. Yeah, right. Yeah. What so size inverter? So I've got a 2000 watt. Yeah, um, and that runs everything. Yeah, so. Because um, I've got the 170 amp power uh, batteries as well. Yeah, right. I've got yeah. two of them in the back, so. Yeah, right, yeah. Um, uh, that's good. Yeah, plenty to run. I've got an air fryer. Yeah, you can run all your, all your goodies from things. home. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Um, so yeah, I've got the controller mounted there, and then I've got a Victron battery monitor. As yep. well, which I highly recommend. That works um, good. Yeah, shows up on your phone. Everything what's yeah, charging, right, yeah. what's going. So into it's all Bluetooth and everything. What's being drawn, everything. Yeah, right. But yeah, at, at the moment, I can't get into it because the boys on the last trip stitched me up, changed my passwords, and now, now no one can get into it. So I'm gonna try to sort that out. Yeah. Thanks, oh. boys. Appreciate it. Yeah, well, someone's <laughs> always got to play with your stuff, don't they? Yeah, exactly. Um, and the Patrol Australia table? Yeah, so this is actually pretty handy, so it folds down and out. Yeah, right. It's yeah. a table space. Yeah. Um, and it's got a leg that's mounted yeah. here. So you fold it out and then whack the leg under. Yeah, yep. So uh, I guess that is one thing you're sort of limited in a wagon, you don't have the mm. sort of tray or a bench space. Yeah, exactly. So yep. No, it's a good use of space having one there. Yeah. Right. Oh, we'll uh, keep heading around the side and have a look what you got there. So I see this side looks a little bit different to the other side. What do you got going on here? Yeah, so probably, I don't know, you could probably say a couple more battle scars on this side. No, everyone's got them. <laughs> so what, what's the story behind the uh, missing missing flare? Yeah, so obviously, I don't know, patrols are known for losing their flares, but we were on the Simpson Desert trip. Um, and because of the, because Birdsville flooded, yeah, uh, we had to do the like a 900kb tour. Yeah, right, that's a spare height. Yeah, it is. Uh, so. We're like, oh, we we got to this little town and we stopped for some fuel and a drink, and uh, a little the uh, person behind the counter goes, oh, where are you guys headed? I'm like, oh, there's it. Oh, okay, that's a fair trip. She's like, oh, well, the cops not in town. You go 80 k's back where you come from. There'll be a closed road sign because of all the flooding. It's all yeah, not really driving closed. stuff. She said, knock the sign over. We had someone go through there today, and they said it's not too bad. So, oh, all right. Cool, thanks. Went back, went around the sign, and we were driving along all until we drive it. Was not bad, right? It shouldn't really be closed. Yeah. Anyway, driving along and yeah, and it hit some mud. So we're all just all over the road. And, uh, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't keep Slide it on the road. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, there was that much mud. Caked just up on my yard. Caked up, got heavy. We're at the end of the track and we're just stalking and seeing something in the corner of my eye and the guards just laying on the ground. Just fell off. <laughs> so I didn't end up. Take it with me, I just threw it in the bushes and <laughs> left it for two of the day. Yeah. But, oh, well, happens. That's right. And then oh, the awning. Yeah. Um, so it's just a Kings 270. Yeah. Standing. So I've, I got that when it 
was first released. Yeah, right. Uh, I thought I'll try it. Give it a go. I only paid like 600 bucks for it. Yeah. What's it yeah. like? It's not too bad. The actual frame itself, really good. Yeah. My mate's got a bush company. Yeah. And I compared it to that, and the frame of it is pretty, pretty, pretty similar. On par. Yeah. But it's just the canvas that lets me down a little bit. Yeah. The um, canvas isn't quite the same. Nah, a little bit saggy and whatnot. Yeah. So it was good while it, when it was like new. Brand new. But now it's getting it's been a bit used. And yeah. Probably nearly timed upgrade. Yeah, company, but, fair enough. Um, yeah, and that, that's just mounted to a steel roof rack. Yeah, just a bit of a basket rack. Right? Yeah, oh yeah, I'd like to go like a backbone. Yeah, it's on a bit lighter. Yeah, so, and fair enough. Um, and a light bar on the roof as well. Get your weather shields. Yeah, there's eBay special. Yeah, so. classic. Most of them are nowadays. I think. Yeah, they do the job. So. They do. They look the parts. Yeah. And, uh, we'll have a look inside. Uh, Run us through what you got going on here. Yeah, so it's all fairly standard in here. I haven't done a whole lot. Yeah. Um, but I do have my gauges. So yeah. I, I have an EGT gauge, which is yeah. pretty important. Um, boost gauge, and down under the cluster here, I've got a water tent. Yeah. So just keep an eye on everything. Yeah, yeah. And then next to these gauges, I've got their driving lights. Yeah. And my spotties. And thermo fans. Yeah. So just keep it running though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Then I've got a, obviously just a phone holder. Yeah. I don't know how much it was, my dog gave it to me. Uh, I've got a GME XRS. Yep. Uh, UHF. Yep. Where you got your unit for that? Right down next to your leg there. Ah, that's down there. Yep. There. Yep. No, that's so. right. Um, and I've got the gauge, for the volt gauge for the oh, main yep. battery. Yep. So you can actually see what your yeah, main battery is around. Yep. Fair enough. No, that's good. Yep. I see you've also got a spicy switch down here. Yeah. That's hidden away. That's just my front locker. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got so, an uh, e-locker in the front. Yeah, Harrop is it? Yeah. Yeah. Work it up? Yeah. Well, I haven't had an issue. Works when I want it. Oh, that's always a bonus, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I see you got the, uh, whatever they're called, grips. Yep. So they were, they were in it when I bought the car. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. I, they're okay. Do the job. Yeah. Nothing fantastic. Nah. Something to hold on to. I see. And the uh, arms. Sponsorage? Yeah, so I've got a bit of home stuff in here. They've got seat covers, floor mats, and a steering wheel cover. Why not? I would like to put the um, EBS. Oh, yeah, upgrade steering yeah, wheel. So it's like a replica so of the Y62. Yeah, wheel. no, that would be nice. That would look pretty good. A few extra switches and stuff then as yeah. well. Yeah, eventually. One day? Yeah. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll jump in the back and have a look in there. Cool. I uh, see you got some more of your handiwork in the back here. Yeah. I'm no carpenter, but yeah, we try. Um, Give it a go. Yeah, I've just built the false floor in the back. Yeah, so I ripped the back seat. seats out, made heaps more room. And yeah, I've no, usually got another forty litre fridge. Yeah, like on your long there. trips. Yeah, so um, and then just got an eBay special roof, just a cargo net. net. Yeah, um, which is handy. Keeps you know sleeping bags and pillows. pillows Up out and all your bedding and shit. Yeah, yeah no, no, that's that's good idea. Um, and then I'm just hidden in there. I've got the Bat two batteries yeah, as well. Yeah, two batteries across the back. Yeah. Uh, Keeps your weight probably a bit lower too, having your batteries down yeah, there. Yeah, it does actually, yeah. So. Some people you see have them tucked up in the sides in the back there. Yeah. Probably is a good idea to keep it lower. Yeah, Fair sure. bit of weight in those batteries, I know. Yeah, exactly, yep. Yeah. Uh, and then I've just got the Pioneer six-inch speakers. Yeah. matches the Bluetooth head unit. Yeah, upgraded head unit. Yeah, so they're not too bad. I'd like to put a sub. Yeah. Yeah. Because why not? Stuff. Yeah. Oh, it's probably fairly loud driving this anyway, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Needs a bit of sound editing. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, one day. Yeah. Chuck exactly. it on the list. Yep. Right. And a uh, spare alternator, just in case. Yeah. Always a necessity. <laughs> yep. Oh, all right. Well, we'll have a look under the bonnet, see what you got going on. So I see you're running a slightly different setup under here. What do you got? Yeah, you got so going on? there's not a whole lot power-wise, so yep. I am running a standard HT18 turbo. Yeah. 15 psi, so I yep. just thought I'd keep it reliable for now. Keep, yeah, yeah, keep it running nice. Yep. Um, I do have the Patrol Doctor airbox. Yeah. Um, which and hard well, pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Which I'll, I eventually will get a stain though. Yeah. But I have to get a new guard and that's good. Yeah, so. fair enough. Yeah. Um, and then I've got a boost tee. I haven't touched it much. Yeah. Anything. It's just there. Yeah, yeah. And then I've got the HPD top manage cooler. Yeah. So keep it running a bit cold. Yeah, yeah, definitely does that. I see. Um, yeah, then that straps in the bonnet. Yeah. So and I uh, see so you run the second battery as well? Yeah, so I've got uh, two batteries in the front. So yeah. 
the link so a bit more forward from the start. Yep, yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. What sort of, got any plans for the big girl? Yeah, I do. Probably more than what's on it. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, everyone's got them. Yeah, so I, mean, I mentioned earlier I want to change the roof to a backbone setup. Yeah. And then obviously I want to go like a, like a motop or a drifter yeah. a rooftop. Nice. Um, a bit more touring. Yeah. Um, obviously I like to change my springs. Yeah, a bit, a bit heavy up there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and obviously I'll, I'll, I'll put a winch in. Put a winch in the front at some stage. Yeah, no, that'll be front. good. Um, and then I, I, I will go power. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, oh. so I want about 200 horsepower. Yeah. So, no, it's probably not too bad in one of these. Yeah, no, nah, 11 mil pump. Don't know what turbo yet. But. Yeah. Oh, no, that'll work good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, keen to see her when she's all done. We'll yeah. have to do another run then. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Right, well, thanks for coming and yeah, cool. thanks for showing me. us around. So, thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.